Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another unboxing and this is an exciting one. You can see here the magic word, Caveco. Yes, these are new products from Caveco that are already announced but are not released. So I will open it and show you some color comparisons because I think that's what I can show you more. I have here this Victorinox knife because the content of this box is blue. I'm recording this on my new phone so I hope everything works okay. This is the first time that I'm recording in this new phone. Again, I received this package yesterday but I got home really really late and, and I could not... I, I just had to sleep, I couldn't open the box and show you the pens so it was very hard to be able to resist but I did it somehow so today I'm showing you what is inside let's start and show you what is here first I will try to find where are the places to open this I will speed the video and I'll be right back Okay, the more I have <coughs> I received these cafe boxes, the more I get confused how about opening them. So let's do it the hard way. I don't care if I keep the box for other stuff. I usually do so I can send stuff and reuse them, but I don't think I'll be able to do it in a graceful way. So let's go the hard way. Okay, so here I am. I just took from here the, the description because it has the address and so on. So just that paper that I removed and I didn't watch the content. So let's finally see what is here. So, so all very nicely packaged and I am such a monster by destroying the package but okay so we have here the I guess it must say the package was made by Jenny and it is a nice postcard but this time it is written in in um, German which is kind of fun we have these little things made of paper to protect the box, uh, to protect the contents. I really like them because I think they are great for photos and I'll be using them in, to make some photos for our Facebook group. And nothing more here besides this protective stuff. Let's put it here. Now I have to say that I was sent a few more items than just the number that was needed for this video so i think there will be some giveaways let me zoom in and let's open this i hope this zoom in was not too much i'm not sure about this new camera so okay you don't want to know about my new phone you just want to know about this caveco stuff and so do I okay I am getting more and more clumsy at opening boxes and okay I think everything is out now let's put the black paper away and here we have the stuff that arrived the big sticker, just like the one that was on the inside of the lid of the box, that one. I like it with the dog, that is the, the symbol of the of Caveco. Let me take the knife away. Then we have a couple of these stickers and the, the little booklet because they don't fit inside these cardboard boxes 
and we have a postcard, this fun postcard from Quebec, which I really find very funny because it shows all the history of Quebec there. And let's start. Okay, so these are duplicates, as I told you, and I guess there may be something for a giveaway. Let's start with uh, not the pens, but with accessories that were recently released. And let me open this. And you can see, yes, they are clips. And we have here a couple more. They sent me two of each. And thank you so much, Caveco. I didn't say that yet. So thank you so much for sending me these to allow to show you here on the channel so you can see what is new. So we have two, two different models of clips, uh, black ones and uh, silver colored ones. So let me show it to you. You see it, it is a different design than the, the usual Caveco clip. And why is that? Because many people try to adapt the Caveco Sport clip into the Perkeo pens. And yes, they can fit, but you need to, to force them into that because it's not really a good fit. It was not made to be done that way. And now they decided to release two models or two finishes of clips for Perkeo pens. So I brought here two Perkeos. This one is the all black, which is a very interesting one. That is all black, obviously. And I have the other one, which is the blue chambray, which is a, an older version. And I'm not sure if this one is still around, but because the theme is almost blue, I brought this one and I brought this one, which is not blue, but it has black trim, so it would make sense to have the black lip. So let me just see how they fit. I always like you can put it every way you like. Some people put the clip covering the letters. I like to have the letters showing. Some people like to put it there, leaving one facet empty. I like to put it like this, in the adjacent superior facet from the Caveco engraving. So let me just try to slide it into place. It is a snug fit as I think it is supposed to be. Let me take the pen out. Okay. Yes, it was not that difficult. And I think I put it on the, <laughs> on the wrong place. I was saying I don't like to, to cover, to hide the letters, but that's what I did. Okay, let's try that again. And here we have now my all black Perkeo has a black clip to match the trim. And I think this was a very good addition to the collection because this was some, something useful and people were asking about it. So to me, it makes sense. And it also shows that Caveco is listening what we are saying. Uh, in a way, I think because in our Facebook group, we are a lot now and we talk about what we want and we ask lots of questions and there are people from Kavek there on the group also. So they may listen and they may give some opinions in the factory and maybe they get some stuff done. So there you have it. I think it looks nice. It's strange because I never ima ima imagined these with this kind of clip. I used one sport clip once just to try it, but it's not really that fun. But these, these are really made to be the perfect size. So I think this was a very interesting addition. So let me just check something here. The price of these will be around three and half euros for each the black or the silver one. So two nice additions for the current collection and this is 
how they look on the percale pens. I hope you found this interesting. I surely did because I always like when companies listen to us. Now let's go for the other two pens and I'm starting, don't know, with the plastic one or with the AL Sport one. We need to start with one of them. Maybe I'll, st I'll start with the AL Sport. So this is the Caveco collection. So this fits into that collection of Caveco pens, which is Caveco collection. It, it, they are somehow limited editions, but they are available worldwide. And so they make some special colors. Thinking of us collectors and in a way making them widely available it is a uh, it's very nice for us so it has two facets when with it's kind of the regular box but with the these bluish i'm not very good with colors so i would say this is kind in between blue and green and in the other so in one side it says Caveco and the other side it says Caveco collection. So we have um, a regular metal tin, the ones that are gold color. And inside we have the pen. And with the pen we have the regular stuff, the sticker, the new black sticker and the, um, this thing. The Sorry, I'm missing the words. The little booklet with instructions. So here it is the pen. It is with a fine knee because they asked me which one I would like to have and I of course I always go for fine and this color is called Iguana Blue so it is an interesting name name it is or it will be sold I think it you can now already pre-order it at some websites um, if I have some link I will put below so you can check it. So this Iguana Blue is sold for uh, at least that's the, the recommendation from Caveco 79.50 so 79 euros and 50 cents and it is a AL Sport pen so it's made of aluminium and it has gold inscription Caveco collection is in gold and Caveco collection is in gold there so it's much in the style of the vibrant violet Caveco collection vibrant violet that was released some time ago so we open it and we have a gold colored steel nib just as similar as the as any other Caveco L sport with gold color trim and we have a Caveco royal blue cartridge inside and so this is it i'm not showing you any writing samples today that's for review but i think it's time for color comparisons so take this out of the way and we have here our iguana Caveco Collection Iguana Blue. So I need to compare this with other colors. Let's start with some colors that we are more familiar with. I don't have many. There are not many blue Caveco pens made of metal. By the way, I think Caveco should make a Caveco AC Sport in blue. Maybe I need to make a video about what I would like Caveco to do. And let's go for the uh, more common pens and I have the Caveco AL Sport Light Blue because this is a pen that, let me take a little light off, I think it's better that way. So this is a pen that maybe many of you have. You can see completely different kind of blue. I also have the Caveco AL Sport Blue, this is an older one, and you can see also it's very different kind of blue. This is a blue that goes more, in my opinion, in that kind of turquoise colors, but 
don't quote me on that because I'm terrible with colors. But these are kind of the regular AL sports. They were not special editions, the blue and the light blue. And now there are two more recent pens and there are and one of these pens people really wanted to know. One is the Sky Lucent. This is a special edition for a store in Japan. And the Sky Lucent is uh, an interesting pen, but it has this smooth finish, not this one, which is different. You can see some kind of a texture. You don't feel it, but it has some texture. And this one you feel that is really, really smooth. So these are two different kinds of textures. One has chrome trim, the collection, cover collection has gold trim and you can see the colors are similar but they are not the same i don't know if you can really see them perfectly on camera but i think they are different when i look at them but we need to take into consideration that they have differences on the way they reflect light because this one is uh, kind of a, as a matte surface and this one has a shiny surface so they are little different uh, and just something more i want to say is that this one has a more green tone to it i'm not sure if you can see it and the other pen that i wanted to compare because there was someone that asked me about it was the this Kavec AL Sport June Bright Something Blue, which was also special edition for Japan from some years ago. It was available in gold, uh, gold trim or chrome trim. I had the, both versions, but I traded one for another pen that I didn't have and I was very interested in that. And let me put it here and you can see that they are different. You can see, I'm not sure if you can see it. If I put more light here, does it help? Not sure. Okay, but what I, I have to say is that the color is not the same. I'm not sure if you can see it here. Now you can. Okay, so let's put it that way. The Sakura Lucent is really a blue pen. This is blue with a hint of green. And I would say this is kind of more green with a hint of blue. So they are three different colors but no looking in real life like this you would not mix one for the other so i would say they are really unique colors and that is fun so caveco collection is not some people li like to ask me that kind of stuff if you like the other colors maybe you like this one but is this just a re-release of the other colors now widely available with different inscription in the Caveco collection sub-collection. No, it's not. It is a unique color. So this was interesting, at least for me. And I hope for many of the Caveco crazy collectors out there that I guess they should be, they must be watching the video because I'm not sure if anyone else is that interested in seeing an endless video just about just unboxing Caveco pens. Now, the other one is here. It has a very nice kind of almost grayish blue uh, box. So in this Caveco collection, they make boxes with the colors of the pen, matching the colors of the pen. And this is called Caveco Collection Mellow Blue. It is a plastic pen, that's why it comes inside a paper uh, box. And it costs, or it is recommended to cost 23.95 euros. And here it is, and I am very interested in making some color comparisons, and I will try not to mix all these up because it's really hard not to. So it is here, mellow blue, fine nib, it says Caveco collection there, it has chrome trim so it is a skyline sport and it is all the same. Steel nib, 
natural steel color and there is a cartridge inside with that little sticky thing <laughs> that happens in many Kavec sport pens when the cartridge gets stuck inside. So this is a grayish blue pen. Now let's compare it because I'm really really interested in that and I don't know if I should start with the closest comparison or with the not so closest but I think I'll go in the other way that I did in the previous ones I'll go for the closest comparison and I'll need to check my notes because I guess I'll do a mess with this because the colors there are so many Kavec pens and I try to have all them in my mind and it's not that it's not always that easy so this is Kavec collection mellow blue now we are having here the Caveco collection ocean no sorry I'm messing this up already this is the sorry about that I, I just need to to find myself again because these are so many pens this is the serenity blue yes i guess i am right now if i'm not maybe i'll need to make some correction this is the serenity blue which is very 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 similar color as you may see and i also have here the elite royalty The sorry, let me remember the name Elite Royalty Crown Blue, which is more similar with the Serenity Blue but darker and different from this one. So these colors are different, and I would say that this color, at least looking at it, is more kind of a match to the to the AL Sport light blue but it's very hard to compare a plastic pen with uh, a metal pen so this is how it looks now i have more pens here and i'll try not to mess this up but it's very very hard because there are a lot i have here another one and i hope this is the 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 i need the ocean blue I have the Kavec collection Cyan or Cyan which was released recently then I have let's go for lighter colors I have the Kavec uh, Skyline Sport Peacock I have the Frosted Sport Light Blueberry and now let's go for something that is harder to know what I'm talking about this is the the retro blue a special edition from China from some years ago which is more gray and much darker I have here the Caveco this is the, the recent Caveco classic sport navy which is a dark blue then I have the Bunt Sport Blue, which is not available for many, many years, and it is a very strong, uh, real blue. Then we have two pens that let me try to find it. This is the Elite Royalty Royal Blue and the Real Blue, the Art Sport Real Blue. I'm not sure if they meant Real or Royal Blue, but the official name is Real Blue. And I have here two more pens or three. I have here the older, very hard to find, the older Iat Sport, which is a dark blue, not as dark as the navy. And I have here the metallic blue, which is also an older edition. I guess you already saw this one someday. Let me put it where? Here, maybe? And finally, I have here these Caveco prototype, like these, 
with a cap that is blue and with a metallic finish but it is made of plastic so this is how they look you can see that if you want it to create kind of a, a match they would go with the, with this the crown blue elite royalty crown blue and the serenity blue but this one is lighter than the serenity blue so this is kind of what i had to show you today i will try to make some uh, um, reviews of them writing and so on you already know but then i'll try to make more specific color comparisons so you can understand what you're seeing and you can also make some questions here on the comments below and i can try then to make some more accurate comparisons if you need to check the color better maybe i'll compare this with the mint color and maybe with some grays so you can have more information but it is it was the first time that i was seeing, I was seeing the pens so i got some pens that i thought it would be fun to compare with all these as you can see lots of pens for just this comparison and i tried to do my best but i may do better when i make the review so if you have some more color comparisons that you need please let me know because i'll be happy to do them let me take this away finally let me put the box this one is closed this one is closed also again the color matching is kind of perfect with the plastic and almost perfect with the metal not that perfect just because it's very hard to match let me put the other one because this has the shiny plastic and it's not nice to see on camera let me put it like this okay so it's not uh, i was saying it's not easy to um, match metal color with paper color but there you can see them they are very very good matches let me put like this like this so you can see how they go over the other ones and also these became available so if you are one of those that want to have your perco with clips now they will also be available all this stuff will be available since um, 10th uh, august but in many places they can be already pre-ordered these are kind of limited editions but they will not end now they will be produced for a limited time but they are not really small limited editions so you have time to find them just choose well or if you are like me like crazy collector get them all i'll try to make giveaways here in the channel with the extra stuff Kavek sent me so this is all i had for today i hope you enjoyed this video please comment give me your thoughts and i'll try to address some of your comments in the reviews that i will make about each one of these pens this is all hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you soon bye